Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a Wednesday night, I'm home alone. Like I am most nights because I live alone. But it is Winston's cage cleaning day. Usually I clean his cage twice a week. It's been a whole week since I've cleaned it last, so that's not good. However, this little boy is so messy that like it really doesn't make a difference whether I clean it every single day or not. He doesn't care that it's a mess. <laughs> He's just so messy. So today I'm gonna show you the untold truth about having a hedgehog. They're mess makers, they're disgusting. They smell when their cage is dirty. The other times, like, they don't smell constantly. It's just like the day that I definitely need to clean his cage. He reeks so bad. But I'm gonna show you his cage. I'm also going to rearrange his cage because he's not using it properly the way I have it set up. Um, so I'm just gonna readjust it to the way he is using it so that he can get more use out of it. And then I am building him a new cage out of an old dresser that Sydney and Blake got for their wedding that ended up not having the right parts to it. So I'm gonna use the 90% of the dresser that we have and then jerry-rig the rest of it. So I'm gonna show you Winston's cage and take you along with me to clean it and then you can decide if you still want a hedgehog. So usually Winston is in my guest room, which I can't show you yet. I don't know why my camera won't focus. I should check the settings, but today he's in my spare bathroom. So I'm gonna show you his cage. If you don't like poop or pee, or messes, don't look. Okay, so here's his cage. It's a really big cage. As you can tell, it is disgusting. I have to put a puppy pee pad down because he pees everywhere. His food and water dish are right there. He ate all of his food last night. There literally was like four tablespoons. He is eating more and more every single day. His litter box that he no longer uses because he prefers to just pee and poop while he's using his wheel. This is his sandbox, needs replaced with new sand. He likes to give himself sand baths. There's his wheel. I really don't even wanna show you the wheel, it's disgusting. And then I have like a separate part right here so that um, he would walk up this ramp and then use this to sleep. Well, if you can't tell, he's literally right there. He sleeps under the pee pad. So today I'm gonna to take out this middle console move the wheel maybe like on the side or back here so that he has more room to run around and play and then he's not sleeping under his pee pad. I don't think he likes going back over that ramp so we're going to eliminate it and then he'll have more room to play. So first thing is first cleaning. Winnie are you ready for a good cleaning of this cage? I take the pee pad and then I have a tiny garbage in here that I'm just gonna shove it into for now and then it's so dirty okay so this is the mess I put all of his stuff up here here's the dirtiness in there I've got to vacuum it here's his wheel I have to scrub that he's under the ramp right now once every month, I'll say. This will only be my third time redoing this. I take the sandbox and I dump it in the garbage. Winston decided that he also wanted to start peeing in his sandbox. Not cool. Under my spare bed, I hold all of his supplies. So here's the rest of the clean play sand that I have right now. With this sand, I put it in the oven for 20 minutes on, I forget what temperature, but just to kill any germs that might have been in it. It was just like a 50 pound bag of children's play sand. So I suppose next week, I'll need to clean more and then I'll just refill this. It took me like three hours, no. It took me probably two hours to bake enough to put in here, so it's just an easy pastime when I'm just hanging out after work one night. So I just refilled his sandbox. I don't want to tip it everywhere. There's his clean sandbox. So now he'll get like a month's use out of this. He plays in it every single night. You're seeing my guest room even though it's not all put together. That's okay. 
As far as his litter goes, I'll scoop out the pieces of poop that are in it, but there's like three. Um, I used to have to change his litter every week, but he's not using it anymore because he's peeing elsewhere. So I changed the pee pads like every other day. So now I need to get the vacuum and I literally vacuum out all of the sand and poop and quills that have fallen off of him and clean it up. And he really doesn't mind the noise of a vacuum. I thought he would like quill up and hiss and whatnot. He doesn't. So he stays in the cage while I do that. Okay, so I just vacuumed this side and I'll, I moved him to the other side, so I'll vacuum that side once I start redecorating it, but this is what it looks like now, so I use baby wipes and scrub all of that stuff clean. I will say it's pretty impossible to get all of the mess like scrubbed out of the fabric of this cage. So it stays a little bit of a mess, but it's okay, whatever. So now I'm going to figure out how I want to reposition his cage, maybe wash his blankets. He got his first bath in like the bathtub two or three nights ago. He didn't like it. Usually we just do it in the sink. We're gonna stick to the sink. For his bedding, I use fleece blankets. I got them for like $3 at Walmart. This is just one, maybe two, and I cut it up into different sizes. I'm gonna throw it in the wash. Those are washing. He's not using them right now anyways. I have another one I can throw in there too, but he was in my guest room, I said that, but it just gets so hot in there and it was like getting to be like 85 degrees it was saying and so that's just a little too hot for him so I moved him to the bathroom. One, because Ryan stayed the night and I didn't want Winston waking him up. Two, it's getting a little bit too hot so I'm going to vacuum this side and then rearrange and show you what it looks like once it's all clean. I figure since it's a video about Winnie, I should show you him. He's four months old now. He's still the sweetest little hedgehog ever. Huh. Can you say hi, world? <gasps> say hi. He's confused because he has no blanket to hide under right now in his cage. She's like, what am I supposed to do? You're all here for him. Let's stare at him a bit longer. Say hi, world. Look at his little teeth. Okay. Okay, his wheel is the most disgusting part of this to clean, so I'm gonna show you. This is so gross, but that's his wheel. He just poops in it all the time. So I'm just gonna run it under really hot water and clean it. This part takes me like maybe three or four minutes, but it's the most satisfying part. Okay, his wheel is all clean. This is the best part of it, so I just kind of, sometimes I let it air dry. Tonight I'm just gonna put it back in his cage. Okay, so that's gonna go there, and then the last thing I have to do is 
clean out his water bowl. Sand gets in that. This will also be nice with how I'm rearranging his cage because the sandbox won't be by the food anymore. And then his food is in the guest room. So it's just a bunch of crumbs right now. Toss that in the garbage and fill up his food. You're only supposed to give your hedgehog about two tablespoons of food a day. I f refill his bowl with, I do two and a half or two, yeah. I need two and a half spoons. Um, he usually doesn't eat it all in one night, but just in case, uh, some people will do like a tablespoon in the morning, a tablespoon at night, but I just do it right at night time. He's not gonna wake up in the morning and try to eat. Once he's asleep, he stays asleep. So this is what his cage setup is going to look like for now. We'll see if that makes a difference in how he uses it. I took that middle divider out. I did keep the litter in the sandbox close by so that the mess is only made right there. Moved his food still to the pad because he's messy. And then while those blankets clean, I just gave him his little cuddle pouch. I guarantee he is sleeping under here in the morning. But this whole process, granted I was filming it so it probably took longer than it would have without recording, but it took me maybe 10 minutes to clean his cage, which isn't bad. However, you do have to do this a minimum of twice a week. Some people spot clean it every single day. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, I just kind of clean it as I see that I need to, and then I do those full cleans at least once a week. So I am going to go now, enjoy the evening, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.